here we are, guys. And we go to the pistol round. No rushes here for inconsistent. Pretty weird since wherever you play a match, it always says rush B, rush A. Yes, I'm just kidding, guys. This is pro play. You don't do that in pro play. I mean, you can, but not all the time. This is Expendables trying to dissect little by little the entire map. They spotted out this porn star is there. He's going to try to uh, at least maybe cross and get into safety, or is he just going to challenge with his uh, Glock 18 here? But at range, I don't think it's going to be the most effective of weapons as he is down to 51 HP. EZJ will be the one left standing to actually defend bombs. So actually, no, never mind. That's going to be GI alongside him. But look at this two pronged attack here from Inconsistent coming in from two angles. And EZJ is going to be swarmed here in a couple of seconds by Inconsistent. Here comes the backstab from the Soldier Act Warrior. And he gets the headshot there onto EZJ. And that's going to be an easy take onto the side. So look at the setup from that one. And GI was actually still under the bomb site there. But Flippy taking him off in the blink of an eye. Now we do see that the is going to be dual with the Soldier Act Warrior. But Soldier Act Warrior is just too damn good. Here comes Bro. Gets a frag there, but three more is his task to kill. He does have a P2000 in hand. He fla he gets flashed, or Soul Rank where he does get flashed by his own teammate. Spawns out for Lester, but Lester just strafing left and right, and then controlling his uh, his pistol there. Gets a headshot, and now Inconsistent will be able to win the first, or the first round, pistol round, and they'll be buying two rifles with three SMGs maybe? Oh, three rifles, two SMGs. But here on the opposite side, um, Expendables are actually buying up. I do like the positioning though, like Kenja is here with robotics and like for init initially, when you see only one guy with a, a pistol there, you'd be like, nope, he doesn't have a teammate who has a Mag 7. But Adrian actually controlling himself and dodging out the second Mag shot from Robotics, getting himself a pretty important 2k there. But Pro is here with a Deagle, trying to strafe left and right. Lester doesn't even look at him for the second time. And Adrian is left in a 3v1 with. 11 HP to work with a Mach 10 against an AK and a couple of rifles as well as a 5.7 uh, armored up Easy J. Standing is 1-0 in favor of Inconsistent. Expendables. Hot damn. Oh wait, what happened? Yes. Look at this. Inconsistent are not going to stop their aggression. They're just going to push through a long here with Pornstar. Going to be shining at the top of his lung. Surprise! But never mind. I was going to do that. But well, here they come. Oh, they're coming up and down. Left and right. Can it get the kill onto EZJ? Yes. They actually get the refrags. That's a two for two trade. And it's going to be a full force onto bombsite A here. But the rotation is going to come out from robotics as well as. A Kenji, but will he be able to get the cross? Oh my goodness, Adrian starting it off strong and he's gonna be able to plant down the bomb as Kenji is here. He does have HP, but he only has an SMG to work with and Solar Rank Warrior has the angle. Oh, he's just begging for it to go down and oh, he does take it. Pros are left. One man left standing with an AK, so he can clutch this. He does have the defuse kit, he does have the flash, but then. Does he know where the other members of oh, Inconsistent are? No, Agent flanks to the left and he gets it. Pro's head and takes him down. Even throws a. Oh! Okay. Even throws a rifle to Flippy, so good guy Agent, but then he picks up an SM. Uh, a shotgun. Still, it's pretty good. Like, um, the meta, in terms of like, if you have like corners to work with, is actually you can, you can actually just force buy a shotgun onto the next round. And the best point, or the best part, or best example of where the shotgun can work with is at uh, drop zone right here. Right here. But let's go back onto the game first as pro with the Deagles, the Juan Deagles. Hey, puppy, the Juan Deagles. Going for the second Juan, but they cannot get the Juan. And now that was two frags already taken by Inconsistent. 
as it was Lester and Flippy. Though rotation wise, you're gonna be start working up onto bomb site A here from the looks of it. And two members of Expendables are stuck on to connect there, hoping that they might catch from someone uh, pushing through the uh, the drop zone. But GI can actually have a good spot here to catch off Adrian. That's what he does. And nobody's there to get to get the reach back onto He's trying to control his play, gets fired out now. But the backstab from Soul Rank Warrior will at least uh, stop his aggression. Now Soul Rank Warrior is left in a 2v1, but he does have time. 45 seconds left to the clock, and he does have at least a smoke and an AK. So what he could possibly do here is to fake smoke onto A and maybe rotate to B. He can run through all of all of that. But the question is. Will he do so? They can hear the footsteps. Oh, he knows that Robotics is there. He's spraying and actually gets a kill. He knows where the opponents are. He's running through frantically. He's gonna smoke it off. And will he actually force Kanjay to go into bombsite B? I mean, this is a smart choice, but then he has only 14 seconds. And if he drops down, yeah, Kanjay can hear that. Oh, wait, no! Kanjay doesn't hear it! What? He doesn't hear it through that angle. And Kenji's gonna think it's gonna be bombsite B. Oh no, disaster strikes. Kenji's gonna be like thinking he's in bombsite B, but then he can't hear the mol uh, he can't hear the C4. Oh wait. I just have to ask, like the, the, the veteran players out there who can you hear from connector or from uh from aid main doors the drop? Yes you can! And he didn't! Oh my goodness, that is not good. Sorry, but Kenji. He doesn't have a defuse kit, and Soul Rank Warrior just looks a little bit to the left and spots his head and gets the the frag, the clutch for inconsistent. Smart play there from the veteran Gab himself. But Sit Canton and Chicharon, I would definitely want to have that. Uh, I might actually get um, maybe an order of that later. I'm a bit hungry right now. Counter Strike 1.5 for Ilo Ilo. Hmm. Pro has been really good with the decos, but then uh, unless you're consistent, not inconsistent, it won't work too well for you. Huh. And here might actually get swarmed. He's gonna be looking at both his his front and his rear, but cannot do so. And Easy J gets taken as he tries to push through B long and inconsistent get themselves another round. One is the four is our score. Maybe next time Inconsistent can actually push through with their uh, bear names, but then they have to tell us first who they are so that we don't get, you know, uh, we don't get confused. I like this from Pornstar. He's actually playing through the very wedge of the stones. And he's actually spotted out to that angle. I'm actually gonna wait. Uh, Easy J's perspective. Alright, I'm gonna check it out. Am I gonna be a CT? And you can actually see it a little bit. Just a little bit. They're gonna set up for a B long push here. So, or are they? That's the question because the bomb is actually uh, still a T spawn. Robotics gets heavily tagged down. Or sorry, that was Kendrick. Heavily tagged down to 12. The bomb's gonna get picked up right now. And is it gonna be a bomb site A, uh, B take? That's the question. They've already dropped down to site, so maybe they will. But then they can actually just counter boost back up. Or Agent's still here at Heaven. Or, you know, at... Oh, the Flash actually whiffs. Okay, so they go into the site. Now Robotics gonna be defending it. Good headshot there onto Flippy, but he reloads. Uh, there's a little bit of, I guess, I don't know, uh, weapon sickness. Sometimes you do feel like you have to reload even with just like, even if you just expended like, what, 7 bullets, you have 23 you left in your magazine. It's not really, uh, like, not knowing where your opponents are not, uh, is definitely going to be making you a little bit cautious. Now one is to five is our scoreline here, guys, and let's see how Expendables are going to be working with this one as they only have a quasi buy with two CZs, one actually three CZs, one Deagle, and the five seven. 
Mortifier really has a good angle here. He's just playing around at that side and even gets a headshot through the through the wall or through the door onto Easy J. So that's gonna make Inconsistent's life a little bit easier as they try to take out any of the sites that they wanted. Molotov and Flash to spot out Ken J and they have full control of Bombsite B and it's gonna be an easy um, an easy plant there as all of the members of Inconsistent are here. You guys gotta be pushing through this, but then there you go. You bought it out. It's taken down, and only your botics is left standing. So now boys can spot it out to a 5-7 duel. And Robotics actually winning that one as uh, some of the bullets actually whiffing through the stone. But inconsistent, Lester gets out, and that'll be another round for inconsistent here. Expendables now having the money to buy up. And are they gonna put Pro with an a uh, AWP? He does have the money for it though, that's the thing. Yeah, he does. He's, g he's gonna buy up for it. I have to has to back off as he did forfeit his control of bombsite uh, or a main and Kenji is actually going to be pushing up through connector there but at the same time uh, they do heavily tag down porn star as well as Lester to less than 20 HP and expendables are still five man strong pro has the AWP at B dong so he does have an angle oh he actually double scopes but then still connects the shot onto porn star And only Solar Rank Warrior and Lester are left standing here. Solar Rank Warrior gonna flash himself in, but then as he tries to go drop from a sky, he will get taken down, and only Lester's here standing. The bomb has already been uh, detected here by Expendables, and he's gonna try to boost himself back up. But Pro does have the angle. He baits it out, but Robotics is there. He gets a shot. Two to six is our scores are standing here, guys. So in terms of the the whole best of three, it's one to zero in favor of inconsistent. Just so you know, guys. Pro does have an angle. From Chicken Coop, and he's gonna maybe go up on to B Long just to get extra information. Uh, yeah, but then Adrian is looking right at him with an AWP as well. So this is gonna be the duel, or will Pro actually decide to peek this or not? That's the question here. That's just gonna smoke out Adrian. Maybe it's gonna be pushing him a little bit with the help from the AK. That AK shot is definitely just there to maybe catch someone pushing through the smoke as well as giving Adrian some cover fire. Oh. Oh, the peak pro doesn't spot it out, and the agent was actually initial to that one. Peak's advantage, maybe, but then still, you have to give that one to Adrian. But now, Robotics is gonna be here, the man defending onto bomb site B, and he actually sprays as Lester pushes out through the connector area. But now, uh, they do drop the bomb, it's taken down, and the defense from Expendables holding strong. This is a 2v1 with Porn Star pushing. He's gonna have to look to the right side. Oh wow, he baits it out. And GI thought that Porn Star is gonna be peeking through that, but then baits out the shot. So Robotics left into a 1v1 with 30 seconds left to the clock. Um, Porn Star just gonna be pushing through, and Robotics spots him out. Couple of shots and headshots for him. So Expendables slowly but surely coming back up in terms of the points. <laughs> if no one cast the viewership would die. <laughs> uh, let's check the area. Uh, let's check the map now. As they're gonna have only tech nines and a couple of utility to work with, but still Spendables are down three rounds, but at the same time. Oh no! 
Solar Rank Warrior got caught on the the side of that entrance and then gets taken down by Pornstar in the blink of an eye. GI is heavily tagged to 18 HP. Double flash in. Oh, is that a smoke? Oh, no, no, it's just a decoy. Oh, it was a smoke. Okay. And Pro still has a good angle here for B long. And if they do rotate for that one, I think it's going to be a little bit uh, difficult for them to handle because Pro has been very solid on that B area. Or that B long. The very back of B long. Kenjay's here. With the help from GI, but GI with a very much more backward back position just because he does have 18 HP. Of course, with the M4A1S, gonna have uh, the advantage of the silencer. And now they only spot out Lester and the mow down from Expendables is real, making that into a 4 6. I like how Mr. Tickles is like just talking trash so much. Why don't you cast here, my friend? Oh. Then I guess he's gonna be rich enough to go here and cast. Okay. Get your passports ready, boy. You're gonna you're gonna be <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the game. Targets. Only Soul Rack Warriors left. He tries to go in for the shots, but could not connect. Only gets one headshot actually to Robotics. So Expendables climbing back up with a 5 6 in terms of the scoreline here. So Inglis isn't actually able to buy up now. Uh, they did have to forfeit around two rounds there. Expendables were like 3-6, now it's 5-6. Lester is actually going to be the one opping right now for Inconsistent. So Pro uh, still at B side. So um, maybe the thing here that Inconsistent will actually do is... They know that Pro is always at bombsite B with an AWP. So the, the tactic that they probably could use is maybe... Uh, put more bodies on A because they've already been uh, positioning themselves so much on a B take. It's not bad as well, but then they've always been shut down because there's so many angles that Inconsistent have to flush out Expendables against and then they, ca and then they, ca they can't. Porn is going to be trying to pre fire through A main, but spots no one. And he's just gonna be lurking a little bit here and trying to at least uh, stop any wraparounds that Expendables are gonna be trying to do. So GI is, you know, has a cheeky angle there. Are they really gonna push up to a bombsite B push because only Easy J and the, uh, Pro are left onto the site? I mean, Easy J is still here right around the edge of the smoke, playing around, shooting through uh, drop zone or sky. Spots at Adrian. Adrian doesn't spot him out. Yeah, Adrian's still looking through the smoke there and gets taken down. But. They finally shut down Pro, and it's gonna be the take here by Inconsistent. Soul Rank Warriors starting off strong 2v2 with Lester having an AWP in his, ha in his arsenal. But for some reason, he does play with just the uh, Tech 9. Has to try, maybe tries to go for rotation. I don't know. I'm not really sure about that one. And there you go. Expendables. Gonna be able to come back to this one to a 6-6 six to six against Inconsistent. Very close round. Look at it. But Inconsistent will be able to buy up as they've lost 5 consecutive rounds. So the blue shell effect is kicking in. Plus they got themselves like 2 bomb plants, maybe 1 bomb plant. They do have the AKs. Are they gonna go for a faster take onto a, onto B side? That's the question. 
Because Pro, if they go really slow, can actually just sh keep shutting them down as they try to peek this one at a time. He has another angle here. They smoke him off. That's gonna be good. And then there is the nade. Gotta dunk just to soften up the members here of Inconsistent. Zobotics is shooting through the smoke, maybe to catch off someone off the rotation. Nothing just yet. Try to push in onto the site now. Lester's still looking through this angle here, but not. He's gonna flash himself out, but Robotics does dodge it out. Pro is still on their side, defending. It's the one shot onto Flippy, and that's not gonna happen anymore. Uh, they're not gonna be able to defend anymore, and Pornstar is gonna come in from the back side. Actually, not get taken down yet. Uh, GI had the angle there, but nothing happened. But only Adrian is left here to defend. He does have the. He spots out the GI eyes there. Takes him down, but now Robotics is the only one left standing, and he's tagged down heavily to 20 HP. He does have the defuse, and he is just gonna be trying to actually do it. No. That's gonna be the case. He tries to challenge Porn Star. I think he had enough time to actually just go in with the defuse kit, but that's gonna happen. But he he uh he looked to actually just challenge Porn Star. Maybe to catch him off as maybe Porn Star might have been feeling pressured and then just try to catch him off. The porn star had his weapon out and was ready to had the possibility of, you know, um robotics just gonna trying uh stopping the defuse and then challenging him. Parts are again at the uh, at the outside of the A site. They smoked off main. They're just shooting a little bit, maybe to, uh, some cover fire. But here, the very back of it, throws actually dropped down a little bit. Six to seven is our score. Because we're able to win uh, around after six, five rounds of losing, and Pro did not buy up to an AWP. So. Uh, maybe he's in a weaker state here as he can have the one-shot rifle, but then at the same time, he can still put him down as he might be deadly on that spot. Flippy gets a good shot there onto Easy J, and it could be another B-side take here. Flashes by Soul Rank Warrior. Pro dodges it out, gets flashed by a secondary uh, a secondary flashbang there. And here comes Flippy as well, Soul Rank Warrior. He could not. He was a little bit too overextended there, out in the open. Robotics is here with GI, but here from the back is going to be Lester. GI gets the frag onto him and making it into a 2v2. Make that a 2v1, and only Agent is left standing here with the AWP. He does have 30 seconds left to the clock. Not a lot of time for Ashley to rotate. And he whiffs the shot onto GI. Good fancy footwork there from GI, and that's going to make it back to a 7-7. Last round of the first half, guys. Consistent, very fast on this take. They're gonna go for a bumps, uh, a rush. Could that be the case? It's gonna be. There's a lot of setup uh, flashbacks and smokes here, but they're running through the Molotovs. Pro gets a good uh, shot. Goes for the second one and goes for the no scope. Not gonna connect, but then CCJ is there to help him out. And only Adrian is left standing. They only shut down Pro, and that's gonna be an 8-7 here. Very close in terms of the points, and we'll be having a switch side now. Score of game one is. Uh, I think 16-11. So Pornstar is the only one defending bombsite A for the meantime, but then does have a position wherein he can hear a lot of rotations and he can probably hear like three footsteps already there from uh, from Expendables. So now he's gonna back off. He knows that someone's already at connector, uh, mid side connector. Spots out the one. And he's looking through mid doors. Maybe he gets, uh, maybe he might get rushed in, but no. Um, it's gonna be Expendables not gonna rush through as they, they were spotted out. So they're gonna just try to 
spread themselves out and look for more. Agent's actually at the very back of B long here. He can just watch out Kenji, could not get a headshot. But he's still looking through the angles. Two more for him to deal with. Looks like they're just gonna go for a B side take. Yeah, they rush in onto Flip, he gets the headshot on them. And now they're gonna go up onto Adrian. Adrian heavily tagged down and just the Glock chain. Too much for inconsistency to handle. Expendables. Sure to get this site, but still rank warrior as well as porn star are here for the retake. Easy Jay's there. They take down porn star and only Soul Rank Warrior is left here. Can actually can Gab actually uh, deal with this one? That's the question. No. And 9-7 is gonna be our scoreline, guys. Uh, awkward to be in. Yeah, definitely is a little bit awkward to say porn star's name, but well, maybe we'll ask him if he has another IGN to work with, or he has another IGN that he wants to use. Uh, for now, nothing. There's the flash, but they try to clear it out. Nothing actually going to be uh here defending on a long. If you can see the positioning here of inconsistent, it's gonna be a a stack onto bombsite B and they're trying to get all of these aggressive angles but at the same time it's like uh how do I say this it's like a flip of a coin it's a 50-50 sometimes it can work onto bombsite B but Expendables decided to go to A and well gonna be able to have as much control as possible Kenji spotting out Adrian he is right here onto the onto the castle He's tagging heavily to 28, but still not enough. Now GI spawning out Soul Rank Warrior gets a good headshot. And in a 2v5 with armor as well as a couple of pistols in the hands of Inconsistent. I don't think that they have to go in for the, the for the challenge here. Oh, he's gonna stab him. Oh he almost does too. Very close. Lester left the only one left standing with a with armor and a 5-7. And GI is going to be looking frantically for him. He's jumping up and down. That's the right, that the right angle and gets him. And that will be the wiser. No inconsistent. Have to be on save now. They've lost 32 rounds, so next round they'll be able to buy up for their first gun round in the second half. But Expendables are starting to walk away with this one. 10 to 7 is our score, and they're, in terms of the economy, uh, not in the best, but they can buy up on the next round if they do lose. Or, well, they won't lose this one. Another stack here by Consistent. They really love to stack uh, Bombsite B. Maybe they should mix it up as, well, previous round we did see the Expendables did uh, look for look to go for a bombsite A and they just left it very exposed. And Kenji's always been uh, here on uh, T Castle just to maybe spot out if anybody's going to rotate from the backside. And he's actually made an impact there already because he got two frags on the last round. Now we do see that uh, they do at least at least enforce it with, inconsist uh, with Lester. On the Mac 10, if he puts out this flash, if it gets spotted out where it was thrown, he will expose his positioning. But I think he's gonna be—they're gonna be looking at him. They're gonna be dropping down. That's the first one. Has to back onto the side as SMG not really gonna be good at this angle here. So he's looking for it. Guy spots him out. Spots one more. And they're tagging it down little by little. They're actually making this work. Lester gonna be looking for it. Headshot another one. And oh, he actually gets. Another headshot onto robotics and only Pro is alive. I mean, the, the bomb has not been planted just yet, but well, USP almost there from Porn Star though. Still, Lester making so much impact with that Mac 10. I, they didn't think that anybody would be on the site, and then Lester just sprays, um, just positions himself, himself well, and then makes it at least a four for five trade. For uh, four inconsistent. So they kind of. You know, have to make Expendables keep buying up so they can actually keep the economy of Expendables at check, in check. And now they'll be able to buy up 
for their first gun round here on the second half. Adrian gonna be doing porn star things, or sorry, uh, pro things as he does have the AWP at bombsite B. Uh, when I was watching them again in the all in qualifiers, Adrian really likes to go just defend bombsite B and have at least one to defend him. That's gonna be Gab because they have really good synergy there. And the uh, porn star right here onto the mid side connector. As at the very back of it, Flippy is there. He sees the smoke, so he knows something's up. Pornstar's gonna hear a couple of uh, footsteps now. And he's gonna know. Oh, he looks actually to the left before NGI. The timing on that one couldn't have been worse for Pornstar and gets taken down. Now they're gonna he's gonna force Flippy up onto rotation to go in the very back of sight and putting Lester to go onto the B side. So this is gonna be a 2-2 split defense by inconsistent. Just to spread out uh, evenly their their d uh, defense onto the sites. Now Kenji is gonna be for uh, gonna be peeking throughout. Is he gonna get spotted out by Agent? That's the question. Agent flicks misses though, but he knows something's gonna be up. He's trying to go back to Chicken Coop, but will he be able to get to the safety of that? of that spot. Yes, he will. Gets the one kill onto Kenjay. Goes for the second. Looks for the third. Misses the, so the shot. And Pro will finalize the kill onto him. 12-7 is our score. And they do uh, at least force inconsistent to actually go again to a quasi buy. It's three, uh, four, uh, five pistols, five upgraded pistols, and Kenji flashing through B. And this is actually not going to be rushing through anything. Maybe uh, not going to not going to be rushing through any of the parts of the map here. What I think that they can actually do was is to um, just like go for a double cross crossfire setup there, which is what they actually did, I believe. Um, Actually, multiple crossfires on overpass. That's how actually how they were able to win a pest around. But of course, that's overpass. It's not cobblestone. Cobblestone's a bit more wide in terms of where you're gonna be able to push when you go closer and closer to the T side. Pro actually timing that off a little bit uh, to dodge his own teammate's flash, but it's fine. Four stars here though. They're gonna be looking right at him. Mostly spray, but could not capitalize. Though he does tag a little bit robotically down to 34. Up on the side, it is Flippy with a P250. He sees GI and here comes Soul Rank Warrior. He gets a one for one trade. He does have an AK to work with and Flippy at the very back of sight. He gets another one, goes for another one. Tries to control the spray, cannot finalize that one, but he has already made the effect as it's only robotics alive and. That sacrifice from Soul Rank Warrior made it possible for Flippy to actually get an AK and defend solid at the very back of uh, of the truck. Not inconsistent. Well, they weren't able to actually you know break the economy of expendables, but this is like road back to at least having some momentum and creating something for themselves. Though, no AWP for Adrian. Uh, Kenjay... Oh wait, looking at the positioning here. They're gonna be pushing out through B, but then there's a lot of smoke and Adrian is right here at the very back of sight. I think uh, at the very start of this round, I haven't seen a Molotov to actually flush out from stairs. And as I say that, they, well, they throw down a, a Molotov. Agent's not yet uh, gonna be. Well, Kenji does have only the P250 here, so he's gonna be just entry fragger. Yeah, that does make sense as P250. Of course, p pistols do work better on closer range, and he just they don't want to expend too many of their bought up pistols. He spotted Agent. Agent's trying to reposition. Good kill there onto EZJ. He knows that Kenji's somewhere right there onto the B plateaus, but it's gonna be the boosted up. Soul Rank Warrior to actually try to get something, but Adrian's gonna be defending the site. 
spots out Pro, but Pro getting the kill onto him makes it a 2v2 situation. Pro's just looking for the one taps. He does have the bomb, he has to plant it down. And Robotics is going to be defending him as he tries to get the palm plant um, commenced. That's the one for one trade. Good headshot there from Robotics, but he is spotted out already by Pornstar. He still has to know where Pornstar is. Pornstar knows that he's there. Oh man, Pornstar actually gets heavily tagged down to 15, but inconsistent. Clutching another round. 12 to 9 will be our score. And uh I don't know. I'm I'm curious about this one, because uh if you actually check the scoreboards, it's Oh well, actually yeah, never mind. Uh, I was gonna say like well in terms of the like, let's say impact, Pro has been much more I felt much more um stronger in anti frag as well as well, his overall skill in shooting. So maybe he could have just like give the C4 to Robotics and then let uh, and let Pro defend while Robotics is going for the for the plant. Because if it was left to, to a one v one with Pro against uh, against Pornstar, maybe Inconsistent would have lost there. I'm gonna go for a setup here again onto bombsite B, but they have still haven't cleared out anything yet. Spot out agent finally, and then Zodar Mori gets some, gets stabbed by GI. But as they try to do that in the process, those coming in from drop were taken down by inconsistent. Flippy is doing a good headshot, and only Kendra is alive. Then he goes spring frantically, takes out the tech nine, spots out Lester, and makes it into a one v one against Pornstar. Pornstar left again to clutch, but the bomb has been dropped down, and he finds Kenj. Deja vu all over again. Before it was robotics, now it's gonna be Kenj. Twelve to ten, and inconsistent are finding their rhythm. Look at that, three rounds. Uh. Three rounds consistent, or consecutively have they won. And they're actually deciding not to give any, uh, or not buying ops for Adrian. I mean, they don't really have to. They've been working well already with rifles and just, you know, having uh, more firepower, I guess, in in dogfights like this. And they can hear a lot of footsteps now. And Lester's going to be on the cross. The bodies are taken down, and uh, there's going to be a porn star to defend the site. Spots out EZJ and actually gets a headshot. Trying to get back into the side as he was a little bit afraid that Kenji might have actually taken, um, might have actually forced himself onto him and killed him. But he had Soul Rank Warrior and the rest of Inconsistent to, you know, on rotation to stop, to stop Hornstar from dying. 12 to 11, one more round and Inconsistent are going to be coming back from this one. And again, guys, you have to take note uh, that if Inconsistent win this one, they actually win the best of three series for the semifinals. And they're going to be the ones to go up against Mineski in a best of five next next Saturday. As well as, of course, uh, aside from that, the top six teams here in the MPGL CSGO have a chance to Kenjay pre-firing boost spot and gets the headshot onto Lester. The boost onto uh, drop zone, I mean. The game sense, guys. Morse is going to be slowly peeking this out. He can actually get a double spray down and he actually almost gets it. Easy J tag down to 60 and nobody's defending the side right now. Flippy's going to be on rotation here. Molotov to stop him from pushing out from Doghouse. He spots out GI, but GI immediately just backing off to the side. He doesn't have to challenge him and do anything uh, drastic here as they're already uh, taking control of the side now. Adrian and Solarak Warrior will be pushing up from Connector, but Adrian takes a nade and is tagged down to 50. They hear him get, uh, get dinked through the doors and then he gets taken down. And then Expendables with the 13-11. And with that, even if Inconsistent was actually able to actually uh, get four consecutive rounds, you do have to take note that Inconsistent, for these four rounds, have been losing members left and right. Like it was all, it was always porn start to clutch for it, which is all, always nice. That's gonna give them the score, but at the same time, uh, 
the merits of that is very low because economy wise they're not going to be able to save up anything they're just going to be uh keep buying up for their teammates and then when they lose the one round like, like what expendables did to them they will be reset and forced into a pistol or uh just upgraded pistols They put three more bodies here onto bombsite A. Jai takes the one down there, but he's gonna be the push from A main, and Flippy's gonna be. Oh, he dinks! He did dink uh, robotics there. Unless it's gonna be the very back of site. He does have a only USP here, so there's much, not much that he can work with. But this is gonna be a full blown take of bombsite A here. As Solar Rack Warriors there up on Terrace and Lester. Oh, he's actually at the very edge of the Molotov. He's not actually being spotted out here. This could be huge if they don't uh, look to his angle right there. He gets one. Almost got a second one there, though. Adrian pushes, up, pushes himself through the hut, but EZJ was already prepared and waiting. Actually, that was Ken J who gets the frag, but still. Lester could have been could have been a good play from that or a, a bigger play from Lester. Still inconsistent, will be able to buy up. They have Flippy with a max 7, so he might be positioned for drop. And Adrian, uh, are they gonna switch it up and put him onto A? That's the question. Because the, the Expendables might be able to uh, keep reading this. If Adrian's always at bombsite B, they might actually just keep rotating to bombsite A. Like, try to get some, uh, like, fake a push onto B and then force Adrian to just be stapled here. One for one. He only tags GI. There we go. Down. Pro. Taken down already by Solar Rack Warrior. Solar Rack Warrior boosted up here onto the shield. But he can position himself well enough. Still, this is a 2v2 with Kenji and Robotics at the site now. And, Born, uh, and Flippy dropping his Mag 7 for an AK. And he does have the angle. Sees the headshot. Goes it and gets the kill. And even looks at Pornstar, thinking that he was uh, his opponent. 55 seconds left remaining. And Robotics can actually still work with this. Plenty of time for him to actually uh, maybe go B or rotate back onto, uh, onto A. Or sorry, go to A and then rotate back to B. Maybe just wrap around. But he's going to be just forcing himself there. And this can actually be the correct decision as inconsistent. That the last remaining members are still here for a B-site defend. I think slowly but surely they're gonna think that Robotics... Oh, wow, Robotics is actually gonna wrap around here. He's looking for some stragglers, but nothing. They have to know that Robotics is there at bombsite A now. I think they know already. Yeah, they're rotating now. And Robotics gonna be looking through the door. He has the angle. Pornstar, if he peeks through it, he's gonna take him down. But no, Pornstar knows what's up, and he gets it. And inconsistent gonna be coming back from this one, 14 to 12. And this is gonna be close. Expendables, they have the money to buy up, so they're not gonna be afraid to keep just harassing these rounds. And Pornstar actually re-diffusing the bomb, which is weird, but it's fine, I guess. of Expendables are outside of the game. The system have to actually challenge this area right now. Uh, they, they've always been at the very back of site or at least um, at A long rather than pushing off to A long T side. Still, Robotics gonna be throwing out a smoke which would hit... Okay, so that's where that hits. But they won't find anyone there. Flippy, as well as Pornstar, the, are at A side itself. Though that smoke was definitely just so that they will 
they will be able to just push through here and clear out A main. So they know that nobody's there, so they'll have much more leeway to work with for an A site take. But at the same time, look at this, Inconsistent actually buffing up a, uh, B long with Adrian as well as Solar Rank Warrior. So they don't want uh, Adrian to be positioned at the fountain anymore, they just want him to be at, this, uh, at B long to have you know, much more, much earlier info so that he can work. He can actually give uh, the positioning of where Expendables will be. But Expendables is going to be a full, uh, a blown out attack, a full blown attack onto the site. Flippy left into the site right there. It's at the very back of it. Goes in for the spray, cannot do so. But Adrian gets an uh, op shot actually through the, through the wall there. But Adrian's left, one one left standing. Does get spotted out. Pro, he actually gets a no scope. Can he get for the second one? Why are you so greedy, Adrian? Oh, he, he tries to go for a second one. He could actually just got a pistol. He already know that he hit pro. He actually could have won that one, but Adrian. Well, you have to give it to them, though. He had the confidence to actually work with uh, with his AWP through the end of that round. But still, this is inconsistent. Well, three rounds they have to win back to force it into OT. That's the, that's the biggest thing here. Born started at A long. I think he saw this, uh, the flash there. But this angle is pretty good. And he's forcing himself out. But he got spotted out. Gets blinded. Trying to get back into the... Into at least some cover. Actually gets a headshot onto GI. Making it into a 3v4, but at the same time, he also dinks Easy J there, so he at least makes it easier for Inconsistent to work with this. But this actually might for, uh, might go into a game three, guys, as Expendables are working well into this last round. Pro gets a good kill onto Flippy, and only Lester as well as Solo Rank Warrior remain. Are they going to be correct in thinking that it's going to be an 8 take? That's not going to be the case. So Rank Warrior is going to be coming back as he's trying to wrap around. This is a 4v2. Gets blinded. And... He, got, he has to know that they're going to go for it. He's just controlling his defective there. He gets a kill on the pro. Nestor is there at the very back of sight. Or the very back of connector. And he's going to be going through. Drop zone. Spots the one man, could be it, but no, Expendables, 16-12 is, is, is gonna be our final score here for the second map, and we'll be going through our last map, which is Dust2, 1 for 1 is our scoreline here, guys, so we'll see who will be 